Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. Welcome to prayer, I hope you're well. Welcome to prayer, I hope you're well. Welcome to prayer, I hope you're well. Glory to God, welcome to prayer, I hope you're well. Thank you for joining in today. Welcome to prayer, I hope you're well. Um, OE Jewelries, hello, thank you for saying hi. Pastor Mo, thanks for saying hello. Hello. Parush Signature, safe. thank you for saying hi. And Francesca Cake, thank you for saying hello. Hallelujah. We're going to just start today. We're going to start today. There, there was a, you know, you know, today we're going to read from Ecclesiastes chapter 12. By the way, the testimonies from next level this morning was very, was very moving for all of us that watched it. If you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. We're going to start today by just you know, by just thanking God for his goodness and thanking God for his kindness and thanking God for his faithfulness and thanking God. Oh, Father, once again, we're gathered together to thank you. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we give you praise and glory. Father, we give you praise and glory. We we'll thank you because you were good and your mercies endure forever. Le goshunto lo robo koso freketea. Le masko prate le besko perade baya. In Jesus' name we pray. This is a prayer of thanksgiving today. Father, thank you for the grace and favor that I'm enjoying. Father, thank you for the grace and favor that I'm enjoying. Father, are you enjoying grace and favor? Father, thank you because of the grace and favor that I'm enjoying. Father, thank you for the grace and favor I'm enjoying. Let's go ahead and bless his holy name today. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for your grace and mercy and favor that I'm enjoying. Father, thank you for the grace and favor that I'm enjoying, O God. Father, thank you for grace and favor that I'm enjoying. In Jesus' name name we pray in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray father thank you for grace and favor that i'm enjoying thank you for grace and favor i'm enjoying i want to read to you from first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 hallelujah the bible says in first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 and the church samuel grew on and he was in favor both with the lord and also with men Lord, I'm thankful. Lord, I'm thankful for everyone here. Lord, thank you because of the grace and the favor they enjoy. Father, thank you for showing mercy, O God. Thank you for the grace and the favor they enjoy. I give you praise and glory, O God, for everyone connected today. Thank you for the grace and the favor they enjoy. Lord, it is your mercy that we are not consumed. It is your grace that we are not consumed. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name today you're gonna to pray and yeah, one of the things you're gonna pray is that that the Lord will open your spiritual understanding the Bible says that the eyes of understanding may be open you're going to cry out to God that Lord let the let my spiritual understanding open Lord let my spiritual understanding open Lord, let my spiritual understanding open. Go ahead and pray. Lord, let my spiritual understanding open. Lord, let my spiritual understanding open. Lord, Lord, let my spiritual understanding open. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to ask you to share the links with your friends. I want to ask you that if you, you know, if someone is meant to join that are not here, ask them to join right now. Ask them to join. Share the links with your friend. Ask them to join. Hallelujah. 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 Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 28. We want to pray for the fulfillment of prophecy. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 28. Lima sunte. Lima sante. Lima soko polomonum. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 28. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Oh, thank you. Ez Sorry, not Ez Ecclesiastes. I, I, I mean Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 28. Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 28. Let me correct that. Ezekiel chapter 12 
verse 28. I pray for you as your spiritual understanding opens that you will sense what to do in this season. Sense what to do in this season. Sense what to connect with in this season. Sense what to do in this season. Step out of what you should not be involved in. In this season, say, I step out. Oh, step out of what you should not be involved in. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In this season, step out of whatever is not the will of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for everyone connected today. In this season, step out of what is not the will of God for you. Step out of what business is not the will of God for you. Step out of relationship that is not the will of God for you. Find your way into the will of God. Find your way into the will of God. Everybody type, find your way into the will of God. I step out of whatever is not the will of God. Any relationship, any business, step out of it. I find my way into the will of God. No matter how lucrative it is, no matter how enjoyable it is, step out of that which is not the will of God for you. Break yourself free. That which is not the will of God for you, step out of it. Like a rabba shanto kabaramana, a sisto rabo scate like a paramekura basanta. Whatever is not the will of God for you, either is persons, either is relationship, either is transaction, either is deals, either is location, either is career. Receive grace to step out of it. In the name of Jesus Christ, find your way into the will of God. Marco Poromana, a sheke peleke poromasante. Find your way into the will of God. Shakapaya, declare, declare with me. Type in the comment section. I find my way into the will of God. I find my way into the will of God. My shotokoba. In Jesus' name we pray. You find your way into the will of God for you. I I step out which of I step out of that which is not the will of God for me. I find my way into the will of God for my life. I find my way into the purpose of God for my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I step out of that which is not the will of God for me. I find my way into the will of God for my life. Every voice that is distracting you and confusing you from the will of God, let that voice be silenced. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for everyone connected. Every voice that is confusing you, distracting you from that which is the will of God, let that voice be silenced. Ah, Kopalaya. Every voice that is confusing you, that is distracting you from that which is the will of God, let that voice be silenced. Sumekapa, Ekeroskapa, Rakapale, Sheino Korama Saita, Every voice that is confusing you, every voice that is distracting you as a businessman, as someone trying to get married, as a minister of the gospel, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let that voice be silenced. In Jesus' name we pray. Ezekiel chapter 12. Praise God. What an anointing here. La mante baraba sheke telebrahaya. Leke breke telebrahaya. Leke breke telebrahaya. Leke breke telebrahaya. Leke bala baraba labrate ma supra telemata. Ezekiel chapter 12 in verse 28. It said, Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, None of my words shall be prolonged any longer, but the word which I have spoken shall be done. It's a prayer. Lord, Lord, every word that God has spoken, every word that God has spoken over my life, I'm beginning to call for the manifestation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I know that it's few months to the end of the year. I'm calling for manifestation. Every word that God has spoken over my life, I call for no word, no word will be prolonged again. No prophetic word will be prolonged. The Bible says, every, he said, no longer will my word be prolonged. Every word over your life will begin to call for the manifestation. We declare that it will no longer be prolonged. Speak 
speak the word over your life. Speak the word over your marriage. Speak the word over your business. Speak the word as you fast and pray. Every word that the Lord has spoken to you will begin to call it forth. It will no longer be prolonged. We call for marriages. We call for fundings. We call for breakthroughs. We call for children. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every word that the Lord has spoken over your life, we call it forth. This 2023, you will not carry over blessings. You will not carry over Ayakaba. You, the word will find fulfillment. Lord Jesus, all that you have said, all that you have said, we call it forth. 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 We call it forth in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that that which God has said to you, it will find expression. I said receive expression right now. I said receive manifestation right now. The Bible says when the clouds be full of rain, they will empty themselves. Every word the Lord has spoken to you, receive expression, receive fulfillment, receive manifestation, receive expression, receive fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Declare with me, I receive manifestation. Let me type in the comment section. I need at least 10,000 of you to type. I receive manifestation. I receive manifestation of prophetic word. I receive manifestations of prophetic word. I receive manifestations of prophetic word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I receive manifestation of prophetic word. It doesn't matter how long, it doesn't matter when it was spoken, but as long as the Lord has said it, I receive manifestation of prophetic word. In Jesus' name we pray. You are in a season where you are stepping into your testimony big time. You are in a season where your testimony will be loud. I don't know if you heard me, but I'm speaking by prophecy. That you are in a season where your testimony will be loud. You are in a season where your testimony will be loud. You are in a season where your testimony will be loud. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are in a season of the manifestation of of the prophetic word in the name of Jesus Christ. You are in a season of the manifestation of the prophetic word. You are in a season you are of the manifestation of the prophetic word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are in a season of the manifestation of the prophet. Every prophecy hanging over your head, we release it into manifestation. 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 It into manifestation. Every prophecy that's been delayed. We break the power of delay. Huh? We break the power of delay. We break the power of delay. We break the power of delay. Kroska Bragis. Kekekekekekekomba. Egito Paroska Fataya. We break the power of delay. Receive manifestation in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. There's a powerful scripture we used to pray this morning. There's a powerful scripture we used to pray this morning. Second Corinthians chapter 1. Oh, glory to God. And that's the last scripture we're going to use to pray today. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 in verse, in verse 24. And Paul said, there's not that we have dominion over you, but we are helpers of your joy. And it's a prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, there's such a thing called helpers of joy. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 24. This is the prayer. As you step into the concluding part of this year, let the helpers of your joy find you. Ah, le masha to kapaya. I be amato le kesko bregedia. I pray for people that are hustling and yet it's not adding up. Let the helpers of your joy find you. Lige paros katale barabashanta. Everyone that runs your business here, everyone that runs the business here, everyone that hustles, I say, let the helpers of your joy find you. Even if it's maritally, let the helpers of your joy find you. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive helpers of joy. People that will partner with you for your joy to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, so Padabaya, Leki Poropo Shakapaya, receive helpers of your joy. Every conspiracy to hold you back has failed. Every conspiracy.
is able to limit you as failed. Receive help pass of your joy huh? in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive help pass of your joy. Anywhere you're participating for, God will raise men for you as help pass of your joy. Help pass of your testimony. Help pass of your joy. Huh? Help pass. Uh, they will work towards your contract. They will work for your business. They will work for your marriage. Huh? They will work for your joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever that's brought you sorrow, God has raised up help pass of joy that will wipe away your sorrow. In the name I show that again, they will wipe it away completely. Wipe it away completely. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Help us of joy. Help us of joy. You know, just before we close, type in the comment section. I declare that I receive help us of joy. I, I declare myself. I declare myself, my family. I receive help us of joy. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining today. I know you were mightily blessed. You have received help us of joy. And so it is for you. In the name of the Lord, that you have received help us of joy. In Jesus' mighty name, I've received help us of joy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I've received help us of joy. I type in the comment section. Let, 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 I want to fill the comment section. I've received help us of joy. Help us of joy in Jesus' name. Whatever city, whatever industry, whatever career, whatever phase of life you're in, either as a grandmother, as a grandchild, as a child, as a parent, you have received help us of joy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This weekend, this Wednesday's midweek service, just to let you know, it's, it's really powerful. It's really powerful. Myself, Pastor Yemi, is ministering. It will be significantly powerful today. Make sure you are online. Make sure you're joining. It's going to be really, really awesome. Awesome. Today will be phenomenal time of the Holy Ghost. It's awakening. Awakening is life-changing for us in church. Thank you. God bless you and have a great day.